everybody, my name is Elephant, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. And today we are checking out someone I have should have been reacting since to the very beginning since these videos started coming out. And I'm knocking myself in the face for not doing it anytime sooner. This is Trampy. If you guys don't know who Trampy is, he's a YouTuber who is basically, from what I remember off the top of my head, is going back using elements of the books in a certain timeline es escapade and basically recreating his own versions with it and he's made 15 in total right now but today we're going to react into episode 16 and the reason why i'm not reacting to the previous ones is because i've already seen them a dozen or so times so it'd be pointless for me to go back and react to them and i'm kicking myself because i didn't start reacting to them in the very beginning when he started making these because i saw one one day just scrolling through some of the thomas stuff on the internet saw it almost spat out my drink laughing because I was not expecting the level of uh, uh, language that was used, the tone, the uh, screaming. It was just so out of left field that I wasn't expecting it. So, <laughs> but today we're going ahead and check out this because this is the first one that's going to include our good old wooden box himself, Toby. So I'm not going to say any more because this is going to be a long one, probably his longest one yet. At least I think it's his longest one yet. But we're gonna go ahead and check this out in three, two, one, boom. I wonder how the voice of Toby's gonna go. Come along, Henrietta. We've got visitors today. <sighs> I'm trying my best, darling. But what's so special about these visitors anyway? Oh, nothing above the others. But every visitor is special, my dear. You know that? Yes, I know, but I don't see why we have to face. keep doing this when no one when no one seems to care anymore. Oh, don't tell me you're throwing in the towel now of all times. No, darling, it's just we have visitors every day, and no matter what, we're always treated like what we are. Old, rotting, outdated. You're not scared, are you? Oh, scared is a strong word, dear. I I'm just tired as all. What happened to the coach who used to not care about what modern society thought of her? Oh, I don't think modern society has a place for me anymore, dear. I'm old and fragile and look at me, I look like a hen house for Pete's sake. And you're still the most lovely coach on the line. <laughs> Stop it, you. I'm the only coach on the line. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Well, damn. <laughs> You're smiling, I can tell. Now stop it, I'm... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? You're right. Hey, there's Henrietta. You're so lame. You and me both. Now come along. Let's make these final weeks our best we've ever had. All right. <laughs> Different intro this time. Right, this is when he goes on holiday, right? Are we almost there, Grandfather? Almost, Stephen. You kids are going oh, to... We have a lot more effort, effort with the, some of the screenshots hit take here. Me and your great uncle Loam here all the time during the summer. It's also where me it's and your summer grandmother holiday. went for our first date. Yes, and it was awful. Nothing but hot sun and ear-piercing noise, and it smelt like rotten cabbages. That's not what I remember. Huh. Then you need your brain checked. So what fun things are there to do here, Grandfather? All sorts of things, Bridget. There's lots of fun, unique engines you can find here. Don't tell me you're going to leave with one. Now that I am not making any promises of. <laughs> Bertram, you have enough engines already. Mm, that's debatable. Besides, these ones probably run like crap. Not with that attitude. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how does the top of map have grandkids? Like, where's his son? And his son's a wife. Uh, has anybody, in at least in the TV era, it's never been really explained. Well, we may not have visitors today, but at least we're doing better than those rowdy buses, eh, Henrietta? Oh, but those buses are full of visitors, Toby. Maybe so. But unlike them, I've never had an accident. You heard what happened to Boss 82 yesterday? 
No. Broke down. Another bus had to come in and take the people home. That's what happens when you rely too much on modern transportation. Oh, it sure is, Toby. Mm -hmm. Oh, Henrietta, I think you might want to see this. Uh, what? What? Whoa! Look at that engine, Grandfather. What is that? <laughs> that, Stephen, is a tram engine. A J-70. Haven't seen one of those in years. I wonder why. Is it electric? <sighs> I am not electric, young lady. I am very useful. Oh, nice going, Bridget. You offended him. No, but trams are electric. Aren't they, Grandfather? They are mostly nowadays, Bridget. But this one is a steam tram. Oh, this railway used to be full of them. Right, I can't really tell much of a difference. They all look like crap to me. Excuse my family. <laughs> they aren't all that knowledgeable on old railways and engines. That's quite all right, sir. I say, where are all the people at? Are we the last ones? No, actually, you're the first. We haven't seen any people here all day. Really much all week. But there's plenty of room for you and your family in Henrietta, sir. Splendid. Come along, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness! What's the matter, lady? <laughs> I'll tell you what the matter is. You expect me to ride in that dusty old beach house right there? Beach house? Oh, yes, beach house. Did oh. you just call me a beach house? Yes, yes, you're a beach house and you smell like shit. Oh, wow. Oh, now crap. <laughs> oh, this is going... happy to take you all today. Isn't that right, Henrietta? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, it should be fine, my dear. Right, fine. Children, make sure you check for rats before you sit down. Good lord. Rats? Oh, why are you <laughs> <laughs> Well. You found that funny, didn't you? Of course I did. Why would I not? Yeah, it was also funny when she called you electric, wasn't it? Mm. Damn. <laughs> Shots fired between the married couples. Henrietta, come on. Come on, Henrietta. No, no, come on. No, stop it. I'm mad. Leave me alone. I don't think you smell like I don't know what she said. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Well, <laughs> at least we have some visitors today. <laughs> this is it's just funny. <laughs> Trampy never fails to make me laugh when it comes to these videos. No matter which one it is, he always finds a way to make me laugh. That's a good thing. Here we are, everyone. Yes, it was fun while it lasted, but you all have to go now. That was wonderful, Grandfather. We've got to go again. Yes, yes, I agree. It ran so smooth. All right, well, let's not jump ahead of ourselves here. It was okay. <laughs> yes, it was quite enjoyable, wasn't it? I say, what is your name? I'm Toby, sir. This is my coach, Henrietta. Toby? Well, Toby, Henrietta, thank you both for a splendid ride. We quite enjoyed that. Tis a pleasure, sir. Absolutely, any time. If you don't mind me asking, you don't get visitors often much anymore, do you? I'm afraid not, sir. In fact, uh, uh, our railway is actually closing next month. Really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Toby. Ah, it's quite all right, sir. It happens to us all at one point. Yes, I suppose. Well, uh, uh, thank you for the ride, Toby and Henrietta. We best be going now. Yes, bye, Toby. Bye, bye, Toby. Your line is lovely. Oh, yes, it's the best. Goodbye, Toby. Thank you. Can we go now? Thank you all. <laughs> Lady, I did not have any of this. Now, that gentleman is a man who knows how to speak to engines. Are you coming today, Bertram? I'll be right there. Hmm. Toby. <laughs> Three weeks later. Come on now, oh, here we go. Something for us. Flour mill, maybe? Sorry, mate. Nothing more I can do. Nobody here needs a tram engine anymore. Well, uh what about the farms? They still use us. The farms use lorries now, and are quite faster, too. I'm sorry, mate. There's nothing more I can do for Toby. Yeah. <sighs> well, thank you anyway. <sighs> Look, you can leave Toby in the shed for a week, but after that, he can't stay here anymore. That's the best I can do for you. Right. Come on, Toby. 
I'm sorry, old boy. <sighs> so am I. Poor man didn't deserve it. Oh, wow, look at this shot. Toby, I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I don't wanna die, Toby. I don't wanna die. Shh. You're not gonna die, Henrietta. What's going to happen to us, Toby? You heard what that man said? What's going to happen to us after a week? Bless you. I... I don't know. Bless you, Taz. But I do know this. As long as I'm She's alive... She's sleeping over there. I promise. I won't let anything happen to you, Henrietta. Thank you, Toby. But... What if you die? Well... Well, let's just not think about that. Toby, it's gonna be okay. Look... Think of this as a well-deserved rest after all those years of hard work. Okay. Can you stay here with me? Of course. Toby! Toby! Toby, wake up, Toby! Toby, wake what? up! Wake uh, up! What? What's going on? Toby, we've got a letter, old boy! From that stout gentleman we took on a ride with his family! It might be good news! Well, don't keep me waiting now. What does it say? Oh, we're gonna go back two days ago. <laughs> oh, I know where this is going. Finally, all that snow is melted. I don't have to wear that stupid snow plow ever again. You wouldn't even wear the damn plow anyway. Whoa, hey, Bob, please watch the dude and the language of pulling passengers here. Oh, you mean the passengers we just dropped off at the station like, what, 20 minutes ago? Those passengers? Hey, some people have really good hearing, Bob. No, of course they do. Also, be careful here, Thomas. We're approaching the public road. Yes, Bob, you say that every time we come across this road. Just making sure you remember. Sometimes it's hard to tell if something manages to get inside your head. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, a policeman. Well, now, Thomas, don't bother him. Let's just keep going. Good morning! Gah! What the? <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hey, stop right there! Okay. Oh, disgraceful. I didn't sleep a wink last night. It was too quiet. And now you fangled engines come up whistling behind, scaring me half to death. My first week in the country, too. Wish I'd never been transferred in the first place. This place is not dignified in the slightest. I might that as well be transferred face. to a zoo next. It'd be quieter there. I'm sorry, sir. I only said good morning. Oh, did you now? Yeah. Hmm. And just where do you think you're going? To the quarry. Oh, yeah? Where your cow catches at? But I don't catch cows, sir. <laughs> oh, aren't you a funny one? Don't be funny with me. Driver! Exit your engine immediately! Whoa, whoa, what's the problem, officer? I'll tell you a problem. Your engine just committed a major violation to basic railway safety. Thomas? A violation? Wow. I didn't know I had it in me. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> no, I me. Thomas is a lot of things, but surely he's railway legal. <laughs> Not look. here he isn't. You see that road you just passed? That's a public road. Yeah? Wow, is it a public road? I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. Thomas, please. Well, I'll tell you something right now. Oh, damn. Man. All engines who go on public roads must have side plates and a cow catcher in front to protect people and animals who stray onto the line. Your engine has none of that. So he is dangerous and he is not allowed to use this line. What? Thomas, please. I'll handle this. That's rubbish. We've crossed that road hundreds of times and never had any trouble. People see a train coming, they just stop and let it go by. Basic common sense. Aha! A confession! That makes it worse. That makes you two regular lawbreakers. Oh yeah, you handled that well. God damn it. This is more <laughs> serious than I thought. I'll have to speak to your controller about this. Oh, sir, you, you don't have to do that. Do it! He's just gonna tell you the same thing we told you! Thomas, please, I got this. No, no, you're done, Bob. It's my turn. Because this is taking the piss now. Who the hell are you to say I need to change something about myself? You're not even a real policeman, I bet. What? Oh, oh, oh yes, damn. I am. Oh, yeah? Yes. P prove it! Show me some proof! Oh, oh you want proof? I'll yes, show you right some now. proof. Here, how's this for you, wise guy? Oh, wow, fake. Oh, no, it's fake. Would you buy that at the party store? What are you doing? You keep running your mouth, Buster. Wow. This is this is going south question. real quick. Oh, ask me, ask me anything. Oh yeah? Yes. What happened to the last policeman you used to stand by here then? Constable Wilson retired two weeks ago. I know that. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. That's a real policeman. Of course he's a real policeman, you idiot. That's it. I've had it. Hmm. <sighs> Stop what you're doing and leave your coaches in a nearby siding and take me back to the station right now. 
This line is under restriction until further notice. Damn it! You can't do that! Oh, yes, I can. I have personal contact with the National Railway Board. I'm sure they'd love to hear about this. All right, all right. Come along. Oh, I was coming, Bob. <sighs> <laughs> ah, this is just lovely, my dear. What's for dinner? Oh, Bertram, you're going to love it. It's your favorite. Oh, all right, all right. Sunday roast. Oh, um, Sunday roast, huh? Mm. Sunday is roast. Is a problem? No, no, I, I just, uh, I, I, I would say it's my favorite there. I mean, probably not. And also, today's Thursday. Oh, no, 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 that's fine, dear. You know, there's also the garbage bin in the kitchen. And also there's scrumptious dirt on the ground outside you can munch on. <laughs> I mean Sunday roast. Yes, I love Sunday roast. How did their marriage last this long? No, that's more like it. I knew it was your favorite. Yes, it is, yes. I know just what you like, dear. Yes, yes, you know me too well. What, are we married or something? Excuse me, sir. Pardon my interruption. Am I interrupting anything, sir? No, not yes. at all. Okay, well, it appears you are, um, you're wanted on the, um, you're wanted on the telephone, sir. Oh? It, um, it sounded pretty serious. Well, now, who thinks they can just call my husband at this time of day now? Who is it? Some, uh, some gentleman calling by the name of, uh, Bob, if that rings any bells, sir. Oh, dear. That is serious. Excuse me, my dear. I say, uh, Mrs. Hat, what is for, uh... What is this voice? What's for, uh... Uh... Go on, take your time. What's for dinner tonight? Is it Sunday roast? Sunday roast. Never mind, I'll get takeout. <laughs> so we need to come to the station light right now. You will not leave us alone. I see. All right, tell him I'm on my way. Right, I'll tell him. Thank you, Bob. Sorry, my dear. You'll have to save it for later. I've got to go. You, no, what could they need my poor husband for today? A coach stuck in the line? A derailment? A fire at the station? No. Thomas is under arrest. <laughs> He's on his way. Good. I can't wait to speak to him. He's not going to listen to you. You're wasting your time. You shut up, or else I'll... Ooh, I'll... Or else what? You'll arrest me? The hell are you going to do? Put me in jail? Oh, I'll do worse than that. I'll contact the railway board and have them send your ass to rot in a barn! Okay, okay, let's just, let's just calm down now. Put me in a barn? That's where you belong, you pig! Oink, going, going. Oh, no, you did! Yeah, yeah, I said it! Thomas, shut up! Holy shut shit! Shut up! What are you doing? Oh, would you just relax, Bob? It's fine. He can't do anything, and he knows it, because I'm a freaking train! I can say or do whatever I want, and I can get away with it. Like, Bob, if you said anything that I said, like, you'd be dead. Like, you would have died, like, ten minutes ago. Oh, you can get away with it. Yeah, I've had it up to here with you, young fella. No one is disrespectful to me care. and I makes it out on care. strike. You, no, you piss me off. You made me leave my coaches in the middle of nowhere. And you can have them back when we're done here. We're never going to be done here. Not if you keep screaming at me like that. Can we please no, no I'm going to keep screaming at you because I have the right to <laughs> speak. Stop going to walk up on this. And you can't take it away. I will if I have to. Blow my whistle. Thomas, that is no way to speak to a police officer. Let me handle this. How can I help you, sir? Right. First off, are you the controller of this engine? Why, yes, I am. That was a stupid question. Thomas, please. Oh, who is this driver? <laughs> Genuinely, that was a stupid path. question. We just called the controller to come up here. Oh, it's the controller. Why? I have this, Thomas. Yes, I am. That engine insulted me to my face and called me a pig. Sure did. This is how you raise sure the engines. Sure did. I promise you, officer, I will have a talk with him after this. Now, what is this really about? You are aware that he and his driver have been regularly violating railway safety guidelines of going on a public road with no wheel protection whatsoever. Is that correct? Eh. Uh, I'm sorry? The old line that extends to the quarry. Oh. Uh, I see. You're saying he needs wheel protection? He needs cow catchers and side plates to protect people and animals that stray onto the line. Without them, he is dangerous and is forbidden by law to run this branch line any further. 
The whole branch line, not just like that tiny little part, the whole branch line! <clears throat> mm. I... I understand. I have come to realize that this is all very sudden to you people. So, I'll give you until Monday to sort this out. That's four days to make this right. And if I see that menace cross that road without wheel protection one more time, I'll shut this whole branch line down. And I do have personal contact with the National Railway Board if you try to do any funny business. Hmm. Right. I understand. Sir, what are you doing? <clears throat> I understand. Until then, this branch line is restricted until further notice. You gentlemen have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Ow, a dick. <laughs> Thank you? Th thank you, sir, he just told you how to manage your railway that you own, and you're thanking him? He can't do that! He knows the railway board, Thomas. And they are very strict when it comes to issues like these. No matter how small or insignificant. And this is a serious problem. I'm sorry you two were roped up into this. I had forgotten about the extended line. Don't beat yourself up over it, sir. So, that's it then? It's no use arguing with policemen, Bob. The law is the law, and unfortunately, there's not much I can really do about this. I suppose we'll have to make Thomas a pair of cow catchers. Cow catchers? Alright, what's going on at the station? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Right. You, you... I didn't think they were gonna laugh, but I had to laugh too because I the edit is so funny. Have a little something around your wheels if you have a note <laughs> Oh wow, Thomas. <laughs> you you look like an idiot, Thomas. <laughs> wow. Alright, alright, that's enough. He doesn't look like an idiot. He looks like a tram engine. <laughs> Well, damn! <laughs> Edward joined in on that! Thomas the Tram and rolling along! I don't even know what that is! <laughs> I shouldn't even be here! Wait, is this not <laughs> real? <laughs> Let's laugh at Thomas is this again! A... Wait, is this Thomas's imagination of how this is gonna go? Say what? No, no, before what? Uh, leave me alone. No, 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 what you said before that. I'm not a tram engine. Yes, 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 that's it, Thomas. Why didn't I think of it before? We need a tram engine. No, sir, please don't turn me into a tram engine, sir, please. I'm not talking about you, Thomas. Besides, you would look absolutely ridiculous with those on. No, when I was on my holiday, we met a nice little tram engine called Toby, who has cow catchers and okay. side plates. Okay, before he get this continues, I wanted to say that I picked up on that. I hope, I'm glad I picked on that, up on that really quickly, because one, Henry was there when he's not supposed to be right now, and two, Edward chimed in to ridicule Thomas in such a way that he doesn't normally do at all whatsoever. So, I'm glad I caught on to that really quickly, but it still made me laugh. He'd be a perfect addition to your branch line, Thomas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, another engine running my branch line? Uh, yeah, uh... Would that be an issue, Thomas? But not, not an issue, but, you know, I thought that... I thought I was going to run this branch line by myself. Forever. Oh, Thomas, please, this branch line was going to need extra help eventually. Besides, you need to learn a thing or two about sharing and teamwork. And I should also mention that this engine's line is closing very soon. You could at least let him have another chance at being really useful. Yeah, but... All right, well, if you're going to be like that, Thomas, I'll give you three options. <laughs> oh, Option God. number one. We purchase Toby and have him help you run the Farquhar branch. Option number two. We don't purchase Toby. He remains jobless. 
You, however, still run your branch line, only now you'll have cow catchers and side plates permanently bolted onto you. Option number three. Oh. <laughs> What's, What's option, option three? three? Oh, I'll tell you what option number three is, Thomas. You're going to love this one. You, Thomas, stay just the way you are. However, the Farquhar branch will be closed off once again, and you will be transferred back to the yards at Knapford and help Percy shunt trains for the big engines. Oh. Uh. There's... There's no other options? None at all? Well, now that you mention it, I suppose there is. Option number four. What's Which option is... number four? I ask Percy instead. Option number one. Option <laughs> number one. Call him in. Get him on the phone right now. Call him right now. Good choice, Thomas. <laughs> why, does he, right. why does he like Percy yet? Like, what is his deal right now? To his driver right away. Great. Hi, Percy. Ah, there you are. Welcome to Sodor, Toby. I can't thank you enough, sir. I promise I will make you proud. I hope you don't mind, sir, but I brought Henrietta with me. Me and her have worked together for about as long as I can remember, and we've never been apart. I hope it's okay. Oh, of course it's okay. I know Thomas will be hesitant to share his own coaches anyway. Welcome to Sodor, Henrietta. <laughs> At least he knows. Thank you, sir. So where is this, Thomas? He sounds like quite the character. Hello, hi. Ah, Thomas. <laughs> He's already here. Toby. He's going to help you out tremendously with this branch line. Yay. <laughs> now then, Thomas, will you show Toby his way around the branch? How as much as I would love to, sir. I can't because I don't have side plates. Oh, I know. You'll travel behind Toby while he leads in front. He is not happy. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's a good engine. <laughs> Off you go now. Oh, Don't worry, he Thomas. Is we'll not be done happy. in no time. If you can keep up with me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. So, you've been around, haven't you? You could say that. I didn't know the tram engines even still existed. You'd be surprised. Were you there when Jesus fed the 5,000? <laughs> Probably. See, I'm so old, I can't quite remember. However, I do remember oh the dinosaurs God. being hit by the media. Oh, you were there? Oh, yes. What did he say? Probably. See, I'm so old, I can't quite remember. However, I do remember the dinosaurs getting hit by the media. Oh, you were there? Oh, yes, it was quite a tragedy. Those poor dinosaurs. And you survived. Oh, of course. You see, Thomas, back then, the tram engines were built to be as hard as stone. It took a lot more than a silly media to break us. Oh, right, right. What about your driver? Oh, no, he died. He's super dead. What? I see. All right, Tony, you need to slow down here. We're approaching the public road. Oh, I know. So why aren't you slowing down? Is that the policeman who shut your line down? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why? Hello! Ah! What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> oh, you fangled engine! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, you scared him good! Scare him? Oh, no, I was just saying hello. He's the one who got all jumpy like that. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. What'd you say your name was again? Damn, now he's gonna start treating him as a friend. I forgot, because I never read the actual books themselves. I forgot that Toby straight up said, the police. <laughs> In that, it, 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 I'm, I'm also quoting um, the unlucky tug as well, because it's because he did basically do that in the books. And that's how... Um, Toby and Thomas basically start to become friends throughout the whole thing, but <laughs> oh god, this had to be cracking up. <laughs> when was the last time I cracked up this much in a video? Because most of the time I'm just dead serious, watching the videos, analyzing what's going on. This is one of those occasions where I am just enjoying myself. <laughs>
And God, I love watching Trampy's videos. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still kicking myself for not reacting to this when this first started last year. Sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Um, but I, I will continue reacting to more of Trampy's stuff down the line because I'm really surprised I didn't start doing this sooner. I really am. And I did start reacting to Thomas stuff maybe, what, two, two years ago now? Yeah, two years ago, back in 2022 is when I really started. And why is my phone going nuts all of a sudden? I'll just see what's going on in a moment, but... If you guys enjoyed today's reaction video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next reaction video. Bye.